Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Hey, hey everybody. everybody. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Five, five Minute, minute Eats. Eats. All right, guys, today we are doing a dessert item, and it's definitely one of those old-timey favorites. It is the... Rice pudding. By Cozy Shack. Yep, and it's one of my favorites. Rice pudding, that is. I love <laughs> it. We're going to try this one. I saw it in the store. We'll pop the picture up here. Yeah, it's from a company in Minnesota. I love the size. Size is really nice. Yeah. So it's interesting, only 120 calories. The original recipe, rice pudding, it says. Mm-hmm. Made with the simple ingredients. Oh, wow, it really is very little ingredients. Yeah. Reduced fat milk, rice, cane sugar, and less than 2% of eggs, salt, and natural flavors. So this is what it looks like. It looks just like regular old pudding. I'm assuming though that most of the texture will be beneath the first layer. And it, it is. It doesn't really smell like anything. There's definitely some texture in there. It kind of looks like mayo, I must say, though. You're right, it doesn't smell like anything. It's very creamy. Here's an interesting thing. I was listening to somebody who lives in Korea. They were saying even though Koreans eat a lot of rice, they don't actually have rice pudding there. Really? Yeah. They have rice every which way, but as a dessert. That's weird. I mean, to be honest though, it is a little bit weird almost to like think of rice being a dessert. So maybe we're the weird ones. But they also have this in Indian cuisine too. It's a little bit more though like liquidy I would say, right? As a dessert, yeah. yeah. So this really is just like, I mean we've had rice pudding before but I feel like I typically have more like the homemade kind or the Indian kind. This is kind of just like vanilla pudding or not even vanilla, but just like a, a cream, cream flavored pudding with rice in it. Doesn't really taste a whole lot like anything, but it is a little bit sweet. Not as sweet as typical pudding though. Now I love rice pudding. So I actually like this because they're the only company that you can find in the grocery store that makes rice pudding. Yeah, exactly. I like this too. It's kind of weird. Like it reminds me of um, tapioca pudding's cousin. Well, it's funny you say that because this company actually makes tapioca pu pudding. Mm, really? Yeah. So usually in the grocery store, what you find is this rice mm -hmm. pudding or tapioca. Hmm. Now, do you like tapioca pudding? I don't mind it, but it's also been probably 20 years since I had uh, like a little snack pack of it. Yeah. So I actually don't really remember much like, is it any good? You know, like I remember liking it as a child. See, for me, the last time I had tapio tapioca pudding mm -hmm. was in the late 90s at the job that I had. Mm -hmm. So it's been about what, like 20 years. So I yeah. don't really remember it. Mm. I just remember the little like balls of tapioca being kind of weird in my mouth, but the actual pudding being good. So this is good though. Are you ready to give your rating on it? Mm -hmm. So for our rating system, would you repurchase the Cozy Shack rice pudding? For me, the rating is a thumbs up. I would buy this again. I love the taste of it. It's not too sugary. Um, it's got a long shelf life mm -hmm. and it's very affordable. It wasn't that much. I think it was like uh, at Sam's Club. I got it for, I think like eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. Mm -hmm. And you got a lot. Yeah. So, and it, like I said, it lasts a very long time, several months. So it's great to have in your refrigerator. It doesn't take up much space. Mm -hmm. And when you're in the mood for some kind of dessert, this is a great option. Yeah. For me, it's going to be a thumbs up as well. I would definitely repurchase this. And I feel like it might be good to have um, sprinkle some cinnamon on it because I sometimes like that with like homemade um, rice pudding. So I bet that this one would taste good with that also. I would advise anyone who's never had it, more than likely your um, perception of rice pudding mm -hmm. is something that old people eat, right? Yeah. I would highly, highly recommend you buy this, try it, because I think you'll like it. Yeah, I think so too. It's It's kind of like I said it's not as sweet as a regular pudding which sometimes I feel like for pudding is the off-putting part off-putting because <laughs> you wouldn't think like rice 
like in a pudding would be good, right? Mm -hmm. But it works, man. It yeah. really, really works. Yeah, and this brand particularly, they did really good. So that's the review. What do you guys think? Let us know. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to click that subscribe button, give us a like, click that notification bell, and share this video with all of your family and friends who love food as much as you do. Bye.